Hey guys, Vegathron here. In this series, we'll be going through each and every charm in Hollow Knight. But this won't just be your normal charm guide. We'll be going deeper than ever before, by the numbers to uncover absolutely everything we can about each charm. And you can expect the same thing when Silk Song comes out. Now, without further ado, let's get into the episode. Nailmaster's Glory. This charm costs one notch and reduces the charge time for nail arts. This charm is given by Sly in Dirtmouth after obtaining all three nail arts. Nailmaster's Glory reduces charge time for nail arts by 44%, taking the charge time from 1.35 seconds to 0.75 seconds. And the best part is, it only costs one notch. Nail arts are extremely powerful, however, due to their charge time, they can feel very awkward and clunky to use in combat. This charm essentially fixes that and makes them feel far smoother to use. To use a nail art, you must first attack, which eats up extra time. This can be reduced by equipping Quick Slash, or alternatively, starting the charge midway through a dash. Both of these methods have similar results. After the first nail art is used, they can be chained together by holding the button down right after releasing it, removing the need to do an action in between. If you plan to use nail arts at all and have a spare notch, then this charm is an excellent choice. Cyclone Slash in particular is one of the highest DPS moves you can do with a fully upgraded nail provided you could land all 6 hits, so giving up one notch to make it even better is a great deal. Nailmaster's Glory has no special interactions. That's all for this episode. If you learned something, help me out by subbing and dropping a like, and I hope to see you in the next episode, featuring Weaver Song.